Hey guys, the All Black Squad has just been announced, and I thought, what better time than now to give you guys my starting 15 for the All Blacks for this 2023 Rugby Championship. Before I do so, click the like button, guys, right now, and subscribe towards the channel. But other than that, let's get straight into this. So as you can see right here, this is the front row that I've selected for my starting 15. I've gone with the likes of Ethan Groot at number one, as well as Summer Sunday at number two, and Arthur Tunga Fasi at number three. I think overall it's a pretty decent, you know, front row. I mean, Ethan, Ethan Groot has been brilliant throughout the whole season. Again, the Hollanders form hasn't been the best as they did miss, miss out on the playoffs. But at the same time, Ethan Groot has really stood out from an individual standpoint, as he has improved in terms of a scrum and jeans. That's the reason why I've selected him there. For some of the Lajo, again, he's been really consistent, i say, throughout the whole season, and has really just been brilliant for the Chiefs. Uh, again, the Chiefs have been brilliant throughout the whole year, as they did finish first, and are now in a Super Rugby Pacific final against the Crusaders, and he'll have a big part to play in that. So that's another reason why I've chosen some of the Lajo ahead of Cody Taylor, as I believe he's been more consistent throughout the year um, compared towards Cody Taylor, who's really, I guess, He's really gone in form, you could say, throughout the last few rounds. That's the reason why I've gone with him ahead of him. But um, again, Ovatunga Fasi, another brilliant player. You can even play both tight head and loose head, but I've gone with Ovatunga Fasi here just because I believe he's probably the most experienced player out of a lot. Again, I could have gone with the likes of, you know, Nipple Lala or even, you know, Tamati Williams now that he's been selected or even Taro Lobax. But um, I believe Ovatunga Fasi has had the best season out of a lot. So that's the reason why I've selected him there. But in terms of locks, I've gone with the likes of Brody Retallick as well as Sam Whitelock. Again, that's kind of the standard duo that you, you normally want to select there. A lot of experience under their belts, and both of them are having good seasons. I mean, I mean, especially Brody Vitalik, I mean, under the Chiefs, I mean, he's had a great season. You know, he scored that that winner try, obviously, against the Brummies in the semifinals, so he's in red hot form at the moment for the Chiefs, and he'll be looking to continue that on into the Rugby Championship. Again, for Sam Whitelock, he is injured for the meantime, but he will be available in time for the Rugby Championship, so that's the reason why I have selected him ahead of other players like Tupo Valai or Scott Barrett or even Josh Ward for for example, but uh, but yeah, that's the two I've gone with in terms of the locks. For the loose fours, this is, this is a big call here because I have to go with like Sashana Vizel, number six. Again, I could have gone with Finnell there if I wanted to to give him his debut, but I feel Sean Vizel is kind of the uh, tight and trusty there. He has played in that sixth position a lot, obviously, throughout his career for the All Blacks, so I thought I think he's best suited in terms of that position. Again, I've gone with Sam Kane here at captain for the number seven. I think it's kind of the standard thing to go with him there. And again, he's had a very good season for the uh, you know for the Chiefs, and he's really improved on from last year because again, there's a lot of doubt in terms of if she if he should even be selected or even be captain. But hey, he is really he's blocked all the haters out of the way. He's had a brilliant season for the Chiefs and definitely deserves to be captain and take the number seven jersey. But again, uh, the last that loose forward pack, I've got the likes of Odyssey Villa. I think there's no doubt uh, in terms of Odyssey Villa's selection there. Again, you can fit in that seven jersey if you wanted to, but Odyssey Villa has been brilliant in the number eight. So I think that's a, kind of an obvious selection there. And Odyssey Villa is just a, overall just a brilliant player to watch. So that's the, re that's the reason why I've selected them ahead of other players. Again, I could have gone the likes of Luke Jacobson, who has now been included. But um, I just think, yeah, it's honest to me. Come on. But um, look, in terms of the um, in terms of the uh, kind of the back line here, I have a couple of likes of you know Aaron Smith as well as Richard Mwanga. It's a very um, a big call there because again, I could have gone with the likes of you know Bone Barrett there or even David McKenzie, but I have stuck my guns and come with Richard Mwanga. I think that's something what the old likes may do as well, but I believe it's just probably the best uh, kind of. Um, I guess placement in terms of Smith and Moana, because them two together really do play well. So I think that's kind of a good combination to go with overall. Um, in terms of the, in terms of the uh, central combination here, I have actually gone the likes of Jordy Barrett and Rekawane. That may surprise a few people because again, that's something which the All Blacks will go with. But I actually have come to love it. So it's one of those where I don't know, like. You can maybe go with someone like Brennan Enor or Anselm Brown if you wanted to, or even a new edition of Dallas McLeod. But I feel like, I just feel like Jordy Barrett and Rico, they just, they've, they've solidified their position throughout the whole Super Rugby season and they've been brilliant together throughout the automation. So why not just play them again? So I think that's the two centers I've gone up there. In terms of the back three, this is definitely the most tricky part, I'd say, throughout the whole side, guys, because this really determines who plays where. But here you go. I mean, look, I've gone with Lester Fanangu number 11. I think it was kind of an easy selection there because really the only competition he had there was Caleb Clark. And I think Caleb Clark is definitely below him in terms of the pecking order. And Lester Fanangu was a brilliant season overall. I mean, 13 tries to his name. And you can even get more from the Super Rugby final if he gets one. But um, yeah, Lester Fanangu definitely in the number, number 11 jersey. Um, in terms of number 14, this was a bit difficult because, again, I could have gone with the likes of Martelea. 
um, ahead of Will Jordan. And I would have actually gone with Martelay ahead of Will Jordan if it wasn't for his injury because he has been recently injured. And I think he may not be selected the first test. Um, so I am keeping that in mind. And you have to remember that Sean Stevenson has been selected as, as his uh, injury cover for the meantime. But I just thought Will Jordan is definitely in the about 14 spots. And again, since he's come back from his, uh, I guess, what was it, tonsillitis, I believe he had. Um, you know, he's been, I've been out for most of the competition, but he's come back, I believe, within the later rounds, like round 10 since then. And he's been pretty good, actually, uh, for the Crusaders. And he's kind of picked up picked up that form once again and showed his class, I would say, during the playoffs. So, um, yeah, that's another reason why I've stepped in them there. And then, of course, to finish it off, I have come to like Damian McKenzie, number 15. It was a big call because, again, I think the All Blacks will probably go with Bowden Barrett's, but I just think he hasn't been on form. And I think Damian McKenzie has been arguably the best player in Super Rugby um, for the season and definitely been a, a, a great player for the Chiefs. And again, he has been playing 10 most of the time for the Chiefs, so I do understand that. But he has the capability to fit within that 15 spot easily. And I think he, he'll be able to kind of uh, dictate play from that position as well. So that's another reason why I've said to them there. And yeah, he's just reliable at the, at the end of the day. So um, yeah, just uh, Stan McKenzie. Come on, what, what more can I say? But um, anyway, guys, that is my starting 15 there for the All Blacks for this 2023 Rugby, Rugby Championship. Let me know in the comments right now if you guys agree or disagree. I want to know what you guys think. Other than that, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change.